Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn. This is episode 6. Yes, alright, so welcome back. Um, in the previous episode we really focused on our uh, luxury. Today I think we want to get our trading up and going. And then maybe even get to the... Agave, where is that? Where do we find that? I already unlocked that, I think. So, let's see what we have here. Yes, that's good. Perfect, okay. Do we have that? I am not exactly sure, but we will get that started. Um, we have a few more houses going over here, and then, as we said in the previous one, we might want to have an extra um, big ranch, but I don't think the big ranch is going to fit in here. Not an issue, we have space for farming up here. Where will we place it? Let's just place it down here, maybe. But what I would like to do is, I would also like to add another iron... Iron mine, yes, we will need another iron mine as well, quite urgently. What can we do here? So gold smelting. That one will be really quick. A warehouse, that one will be next in line. And then as soon as we are done with all these, we will just do our enlightenment age. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so gold gold smelter. We don't have any gold nearby, so that is fine. It's not an issue. Um, Money-wise, we are doing really good. Okay, that, that, that's wonderful. We have a friend next to us. You are taking up space that I would have liked to use. But I am not going to complain too much. Why would we want to complain? Okay, so. Medicine Maker is still being built. I am just waiting for this beautiful little... card to unlock over there. Warehouses are being researched and i think our luxuries are doing quite all right at the moment so we are happy with that we need another stone quarry yes okay so we have unlocked the warehouses which is really expensive but i mean that's fine that's not an issue uh we are starting to have a little bit of an issue with our amount of employees that we have Naturally, this drops as soon as, um... It's turning to winter, which it is becoming now. So... Not an issue, we have a lot of laborers to do some work, which is beautiful. I think what we can do with our... Laborers is to just clear out this area. I know you can just do that as you use the area, but I mean, why wait? When we can just ask them to go do it ourselves and then we have extra wood. So quick build, yes, that would be nice. And then the foreign relations. So our goal in this episode is to reach the enlightenment era and then have enough people um, in this area so that we can have another iron where will we build the iron mine we need an iron mine as well as a there's a perfect spot okay so we need an iron mine and another stone quarry maybe let's see tailor we can get a tailor as well that that would be quite nice to get that will um help out with tier two of luxury Iron Smelter, definitely going to need one of these. <clears throat> okay, so let's just prioritize this one first. 
if you take into consideration that we really need more iron we are running a bit low on iron have a little road run past that and then we need a house a little bit closer to it as well not that close oh, my apologies don't be that close okay so a house over there i want to keep that open so they can move around it and it needs some road access like that and i think it's going to complain about storage as well we could build a warehouse i mean it's not that expensive let's just um prioritize these here quickly so they can get those built beautiful i can um do a quick build but oof that is a little bit expensive at the moment so i don't think we'll do that we'll just let them do the building and as you can see they are absolutely going through this um forest like a knife a hot knife to butter okay we have an embassy now so like i said i don't think we have any space oh wait that needs to be on on the other players can i put it here yeah sure why not embassy uh we are mere minor town and have no use of this type of building hotels can be useful though okay all right um we'll get there i guess we can just place this this one in our card storage for the near future i need to check up on my food quickly here uh food is still doing quite all right fish is perfect mushrooms are now being grown I need to see can you change this to magic mushrooms in the future or do you have to research it i'm still not sure right so we have glasswork here uh chocolate here museum mm, initials i think maybe if so it's much further still have quite a bit that we can research so that's quite nice and then okay so that is done but let's just have a look at this quickly we can increase that one so now we just need to wait until we can get that the enlightenment age researched uh heating technology so wooden coal gives uh 10 percent more heat per level i think we can have that one as well ranching technologies we can do that as well so it produces more uh meat research completed on that one so let's just get that going we have this warehouse that needs to be built okay so that is not a problem either i think i'm just going to do some stone insulation on all of these um open storage was full which is fine let's just uh get that one going and Let's see, I guess for that one as well. We have level 5, 24 houses in level 5. So we are doing really good on that one as well. As you can see, they are looking quite nice and dandy. They are looking quite beautiful. Trading, what can we trade? We have a... Yeah, we have a, we have a shit ton of um, tulips, so... I think we can trade a bit of that. 60 of 60 of them. That's cute. Why only that? I think that will increase the amount that we can trade. So this requires input. What input do you need? More wax. Okay, so. If we take that into consideration, let's just upgrade those on our beekeeper and i think maybe in the very near future we can add another beekeeper i'm 
not sure if it works like that in this game, but in reality, if you have a beekeeper close to your farms, it is always a win. They are very important little pollinators, so without them, we won't have any food, to be quite honest. Obviously, there are other pollinators, but I would say they are the main pollinators. Right. The forest is nice and open now, so no more problems with that one. Uh, tools are doing wonderful. That's good. Naturally, level tier 2 luxuries are lacking a tiny little bit. But that is not a train smash whatsoever. We can get to that. Okay, so trade routes. We can actually then start trading with our little neighbor over here. Can we give them a gift? Okay. Just to be sure that they continue to be nice. We'll just send them a thousand gold. That, once again, they're not going to be hostile considering we have all hostility is switched off. Let's just upgrade these. We don't want to add the workers right now, so we'll just work on that one. We have our warehouse. Wonderful. This is actually going quite well, in my opinion. I think um, our city is growing really nicely. Okay, so that's doing well. I think maybe we could do with upgrading our immigration offer so that they can just do a little bit of a quicker, quicker job at it. Which will be absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> Naturally, and then we'll add some more productivity. So I think what we can do is we can add our product productivity to this one over here. And which will mean, before that time runs out, I want to see, we need another stone quarry, definitely. We would like to have that. Let me just pause it so that we can do this um, quickly. Um, the medicine maker, don't think we need another one of these. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We can use this area for some more medicinal herbs as well, so that we can just up the, the production on that, so I think we can do that. Trading company, um, automatically trade resources with the world market. Hmm, I don't think we are there yet. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Another fortress, no thank you, so let's just... What are we going to do with this? Um, I don't need anything yet, so I'll just buy some wood. It's not expensive, so that's fine. A storage depot... Maybe. Another mushroom farm and uh, do we? Yes. Why not? We'll buy some more wood. And maybe even a tavern. Definitely these. Trading port. No need. Clay. How are we on clay? Speaking of. Ah, clay. Okay, so definitely going to get some more clay going. Brickworks, uh, bricks are doing quite all right. No need for more of that at the moment. We could add the library. And there we go. Okay, so medicine maker. We'll get that going as soon as we have that one going. Where will we place this? I think we'll just place it here with our coal mine. medicine maker and then wait let's just get that one um immigration office i want another immigration office immigration we need to balance out our population so we can add it there and then use that little thing over there as decoration right let's get started on our research for the enlightenment era mushroom farm okay so this one is facing the way so we'll face this one the opposite direction 
where do we want the, uh, I guess I guess this will do but this is taking up a lot of the the space for our forester in that case I guess it doesn't have a negative impact on the housing so that's perfect we can then have that over there hmm I think let's do it on this side. Over there. I want to see here because we need to do the... We do have that going. Okay, let's just get a tailor as well. If you take into consideration that we've been waiting to get this built for quite some time now. So we'll get that. And then we need to have the iron smelter. I think we'll just place that one. Um, sure, why not? I'll place it over there. Immigration brought in a few more people. That is always wonderful, which means we are running low on housing space a little bit. So I think if we add a few houses there and a few over there, that should do just fine. Okay, so now we can do 240. That is a lot better. So we'll do a hundred of our tulips. We'll do a hundred of our leather and then something else that has a lot. Mm. Don't want to sell my tools. We could sell a few of these. Yeah, we can sell a few of those. Okay, so that is going to give us 2400 but we have a really big fee on our trading so that's not great but i guess that's part of it will this fit in here yes it will perfect okay so we'll just add another seven right over there i would yes please that's whoa that's expensive okay so the card is cheap the rest is not So, where is the farm? Must be built in our territory. Now, how to, do we make that work? Is just by going from that side. A farm of agave. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. Wonderful. <clears throat> we can't purchase that area there, but we can purchase this one. That means we will have another farm over here. Or let's just place it up to there. That is going to be a medicinal herb farm. Have a little road go all the way to over there. And then we'll have a medicine maker behind the mushroom farm. If we can fit it in there. We have the mushroom farm over there and the medicine maker over there. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. Get that going up there. And then let's see. I think we should probably focus on getting at least two of these. Okay, well, I can just quick, quick bowl those. Those aren't expensive to quick bowl. That is great. So that gives us enough space for... A few more people, I guess. Yeah, no, that's good. Wonderful. We have this farm over here. That's going to be our agave farm, which means we can also start tequila. I think that would be pretty nice to get that going as well. The tequila distillery, I think um, we'll have it more on this side just to keep it away from the housing. 
once again we are running a bit low on space for this uh, okay so this is prioritized planting fruit trees that's good and cut non fruit trees only are they even doing that can't see that they are fruit iron tools what's this oh it needs iron tools to upgrade Iron smelter up there, that is wonderful, and then we'll have a, well we do have a warehouse, so it's not necessary for that, but I think as far as I know there are also haulers, so I'm going to add that there and then say that we want iron bars set to this one, we'll quick build it, I just love the quick build option, it really makes things a bit easier. So that if you are in dire need of something, you can just build it. You can buy a bit more wood. For 1,400 and new. No thank you. Enlightenment age. So close. So close to it. Okay. We are making great progress over here. Welcome to the age of enlightenment. Where rationalism and romanticism are options for... I don't even know what that means. But okay. Who cares? Um, so it adds rationalism. It is going to add plus one science boost for each 2% happiness above 80%. Huh. Not bad. Romanticism plus one um, percent time attractiveness for each house... That is level 5. Where do I see that again? Over there. Okay, we have 32 of them. So that's 32%. Whoops, that one. Submit. Okay, choose another era bonus. Okay, protectionism. So plus 20% luxury resources productivity. That's actually a good thing. We would really like to do that. Free thought is just a science boost. Why would we want to have free thinkers? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways. So, d uh, doubles the luxury resources import fee. That's fine. We are not going to import luxuries at all. We will produce our own. That is great. Now, just going to speed things up a little bit. So that we can have... A little bit more of that going. We want to have a warehouse for our production as well. So the iron smelter just requires a little bit more um, stone. This is running quite nice and smoothly. Do we have enough people to do the job? We do. We do indeed. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Can we upgrade this now? We can. Wonderful. And now we have our card shop. Wonderful. Card shop. It's a good little space for him right over there. Which gives us uh, Town Hall Level 3 unlocks a 10% mining and quarry production. Okay, that's wonderful because we need the iron mines to perform a little bit better. Considering... Okay, well that's good now. But, okay, considering we have that um, smelter going on as well now. Uh, guard shop, that's good. Luxury importer, immigration, and kidnap. Why would I do that? We are not criminals around here. Wow, these houses are getting quite big, eh? What's that? Level 5. That actually looks quite nice. Really love the aesthetic of the Aztec... Um, people and the Aztec Empire it actually looks really nice I really enjoy the aesthetic of it okay so back to this side of town we have a bunch of little houses over here we just upgrade your insulation over there do we have our coal production yet yes we do so let's just uh, improve this one a little bit more and then we have upgrade the coal conversion. Okay, clay. Where is our clay? We are out of clay. 
I remember now that I said we need to add clay. Well, that's fine. I mean, we'll just wait until we have enough and then I'll, I think, nope, we can't place it over there. That's ocean. Where will I place it? I guess we'll have to go over here. Yes, I think we will have to do that one next. Uh, sand mine, policy, school, spy note, coffee roaster. We don't have coffee yet, but we can buy the card. So basically, oops, whoa, that was quick. Okay, so. Buying cards, you will be able to buy a bunch of different breeders. It does cost quite a bit of money, which is perfectly fine. What I will be investing in is to keep it a bit more in what the Aztec did is coffee and cocoa. Definitely going to go with those. Um, a dye breeder, not exactly what we require at this moment. A homebrew houses of the pottery gets four extra, um, what do you call it? Research science points. Okay. I think that is doing quite well, actually, to be quite honest. Um, but we will get to these two most definitely. I'm not sure how we're going to do the... Thank you. How we will do the... Um, what do you call it? I am not sure now. Wow. Okay, it's cool. Um, I wanted to say something now, but it slipped my mind, so... I guess we'll just live with it. And accept that sometimes the brain can do funny things and forget things, so we'll just accept it. Right, so we have that going, and then we need to get the clay in this area over here so let's just get some more road going i don't know why i did that but it's not a train smash we'll have a little path over there and we have the master Ooh, we don't want that happening master brewery okay perfect right -o. We have our farms going. We have medicine maker up here that's going to be built. A warehouse, tavern. We have a lot of things that's going to be built. So yeah, we still have quite a bit of things we can do in this, hey? Eh? Okay, so basically, my idea is because we can't build there now, is to go around. We could claim this province just to link it up just to close it off and then we'll work around this area up here so we'll get this one this one these and then we'll build out on this just they all have their own little sorin nation in in there come on you can do it can i get no i cannot but I mean, I mean, let's just see. We have enough money, so let's just spend it on some. Um, trading post, no need for another one. Gold smelter, no need. I think we can start investing in our deep sea fishing. Sand mine, not just yet. That is fine. We have a granary. Could get another beekeeper. Windmill, card remover. Windmill, no need. Charcoal burner, no need. So we'll pass on this one. A wild card is definitely going to be there. And an immigration office. We wanted to add another immigration office. I think we can do that a little bit later though. A glass smelter. No need for that right now. So that's fine. Tequila distillery. Yes please. Horn breeder. Nope. And um, let's just switch that one up. Okay. Uh, immigration, immigrants, join upon use. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. And we'll submit. Okay. So, clay. Clay is very important here. So, let's get two of them down, I think. I think we'll get one. 
and another one right next to it like that and actually it will complain about the housing so what we are going to do is we are going to use this little district over here for housing can't place one over there so that's fine we'll just move it up a bit can have a house over there and a house over there that is looking absolutely great right so we'll leave those for let me just quickly get this done and then we are going to call this episode We've got the beekeeper. We need to get the beekeeper in here somewhere. Efficiency, 112. And it seems like a good amount. So we'll just get that one built over there. And another immigration office. Let's see where we can get that one built. I think let's place it right next to this. We'll leave a little gap open for... I'd actually like to have a few more houses over there. So let's get those planned out as well. A house over there. Oopsies. And a house over there. Which leaves enough space for our immigration office right over there. Beautiful. Okay, so... Um, we are out of time for this episode. If you liked it, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below as well. I would really love to hear from you guys. I enjoy engaging with you guys. I enjoy hearing from you. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop for any upcoming and weekly uploads. There are about four to five of them in a week. Um... But yes, thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys have a beautiful day ahead of you or even a beautiful evening. It depends on what time you're watching this and on, on that, that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.